Hello, my philosophers, and welcome now to Thursday. Thank you for logging in. Well, good news, adventurers. Sunny and ridiculously cool today for the archers and adventurers of the Zodiac. In fact, so cool, you might even err on arrogant. That's right. Just so I let you sit with that. Kind of odd for you, huh? That's because the moon is full in your sign. This is the one time of the year where you have a full dose. Uh, you have a full dose of emotion. A dotion. Don't you love how I make contractions on my own? You have full dotion when it comes to ego and charisma. So much so that your ego is wanting what it wants when it wants it now. There may be a lack of patience today. You may really just be over it. You deserve it. There might be a little bit of a potential for temper tantrums and overreacting to situations. And guess what? This is all normal because that's what a full moon is about. A full moon is about tempting us emotionally in one area of our life so we can let go of certain areas that hold us back. In your case, it is your approach to partnerships and marriage. That's right. Now, in chapter one, which is where this is all going down, the most important partnership is the one to yourself. So if you're unhappy that you're not getting what you want out of life, that your ego is not being gratified, that you don't have the fancy car, that you don't have the fancy clothes, whatever it is your ego wants. And ego is usually shallow, and that's okay, by the way. We're allowed to be shallow. One twelfth of us is allowed to be shallow. shallow. But if you're not happy for not having that, well, maybe you haven't been a good partner to yourself. Maybe you should have gotten your butt out of bed and gotten that job. But this also goes to the level of partnerships in general. Today, maybe your ego will be upset that someone let you down. That someone hasn't showed up for you like you show up for them. In that case, you have to let go of certain attitudes or beliefs around the way you partner, who you partner with, etc. And you may even find yourself mourning an ex-girlfriend or boyfriend today. And if that's the case, get over it. It's only holding you back. So your emotions and ego will get what it wants but it has to learn to approach relationships differently. Now, I think this is the final straw in the Jupiter-Uranus breakthrough, which means once you get this ego partnership thing down, I think you're going to feel finally secure and grounded. You're going to have that paradigm shift I've been promising you for nearly six weeks. Now, also today, we have Kristen Ryder, our full moon goddess, who's going to come with an extra episode helping you to release literally from the Gemini vibration and giving you aspects of Gemini that you may not be considering when you think of relationships. And of course, Anika Salter, a renegade aromatherapist going live today transcribing, or transcribing, prescribing, what is it with me today? Prescribing plant essences that will also vibrate to Gemini and giving you some extra details on what you uh, look at when you're looking at relationships because you approach relationships like a Gemini. Oh, man, that was tough to get out. All right, Sagittarius, that's all I have for Thursday, but tomorrow I'm back with your weekend forecast. Live, love, be. So